John Hargrove, you may remember that name from the documentary Blackfish. He knew he always wanted to work with killer whales ever since he was a child. But after more than a decade of working in his dream job as a trainer at SeaWorld, he decided to blow the whistle on his employer and expose the dangers he was seeing behind the scenes. Here's a preview of tonight's whistleblower episode on CBS. For decades, killer whales were the main attraction at SeaWorld. They performed mind-boggling stunts with trainers like John Hargrove. You know, it was surreal. Nothing at that time in my life, nothing meant more to me. SeaWorld first opened in 1964. Early on, little was known about the whales, let alone how they would fare in captivity. But one thing was sure, the whales drew crowds. But John says he came to realize those performances masked the reality of the harmful effects of captivity. They are being subjected to sunlight without shade protection that causes cataracts and damage to the eyes. They're swimming in chemically treated water. You see them grinding down their teeth on the pool walls and ledges, breaking off their teeth where we have to go in and, and manually drill the tooth. I want to talk about aggression. This is a video clip of, of one of the trainers being aggressed on by a whale. And you can just see he's a, he's a rag doll. I mean, she's just mm -hmm. dragging him down. And he gets pulled to the bottom, brought up to the surface, allowed to get a breath of air and pulled back down again. Mm -hmm. How many times has that happened to you? For me, 10 times. I've had 10 major water work aggressions where whales have grabbed me and pulled me under during my career. The most shocking incident happened to SeaWorld trainer Don Branshaw. After seemingly sweet moments with a whale named Tillicum, we actually have a trainer in the water with one of our whales. Dawn was suddenly yanked into the water and mauled to death. SeaWorld's statement was that it was not aggressive and that he was simply playing with Dawn. No reasonable person would believe it. I cannot tell you how pissed off I am when I hear this, and she's not alive to defend herself. John claims SeaWorld downplayed acts of whale aggression, wanting to maintain its family-friendly image. In a statement to Whistleblower, SeaWorld said, in part, they, quote, provide world-class care and treatment based on the latest and most advanced science and animal welfare standards. Our animal care and rescue efforts are certified, supported, or reviewed by objective third-party organizations. I knew the truth and I just couldn't handle it anymore. Whistleblower host Alex Ferrer is here along with John Hargrove. Alex and John, welcome to you both. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. John, you always wanted to work with orcas, and then you finally get this opportunity to do so. How did your perspective change from being a kid who dreamed about killer whales to the reality of working for an organization like SeaWorld? Well, I think that's the key word, it's the reality. What you perceive it to be as a child and even when you first began as a, in your career, it's completely different what it really is behind the scenes. And it takes years of just progressing through your career and um, progressing up the ranks for you to see more and more and more, for you to realize what's truly happening to these whales in captivity. What sort of training is involved in getting them to do those sort of stunts? Uh, in, one, in one sense, it's very, it's very difficult because they are very dangerous. They're apex predators. Um, and on the other hand, it's easy in a sense because they're so highly intelligent. Uh, you can literally train them anything that you want to train. If you can think of something in your mind, you say, let's, let's try it. Those whales are so smart. They grasp even uh, highly detailed things like uh, concepts. Um, you, you can train them to do anything. Hmm. It's almost like working with an alien species. Wow. Alex, um, when, were you surprised to learn <clears throat> what went into the stunts, the danger involved in performing them, and then looking at those videos of trainers being pulled underwater? What did you think? I, I was flabbergasted. I mean, I, like everybody else, I went to SeaWorld as a child and took my kids to SeaWorld and, and watching the shows. You know when you watch the show, it's an amazing stunt. You know that. Yeah, that's what makes it mesmerizing. But when you watch tonight's episode and you see John explaining the difficulty of the stunt and you see some pictures of him underwater with the folds of his skin 
pulled back because he's going at a ridiculous speed so fast that he can't see when, when the whale hits high gear before they break the surface. Uh, the danger and the difficulty of the stunt really, really hits home. So we saw in that little snippet that we showed, you know, partially why you decided to leave SeaWorld, but you didn't have, you could have just left. I mean, you didn't have to also start speaking out. Why did you both leave and then start speaking out? One, I felt like these whales had given me everything. And now I knew the truth. I was armed with the truth because of my career. And I had a responsibility now to tell the world what really is happening to these animals so this will stop. So we've all watched how the dominoes fell with this, right? A documentary, people were outraged. SeaWorld Hat was forced to respond. And now there are no killer whale shows, right? At SeaWorld? No, the performances with trainers, the yeah. stunts with uh, trainers and whales, uh, those, those have been ended. Those okay. no longer happen. There are still whales in captivity. Uh, SeaWorld says for educational purposes, although I, I guess everything's relative. Right. You know, if, you're a, if you're a tiger and you have acres to roam, that's, that's one thing. If you're a whale that flicks its tail three times and hits a wall and has to turn around when you're used to swimming 100 miles a day in the ocean, yeah. I, I wouldn't say they're comparable. Well, Alex, Gosh, John, yeah. thank you, thank you so Thanks for much. having us. Thank you. Uh, you can watch the latest episode of Whistleblower, SeaWorld, The Case Against Captivity. It airs tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS.